Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me in this video. It's a pleasure and an honor to interact with you today. Let me start this message with a small story. Once a business executive was uh, on a on a business trip and uh, he was traveling in an aeroplane. He was busy in preparing his presentation because the next day he had a sales pitch and uh, uh, he was absolutely into it. He was working very hard on that. And the other co-passengers, you know, they were in their own world, some reading books, uh, some people hooked into the smartphone, uh, some people spending some quality time with their loved ones. They were doing all, you know, in a very relaxed and happy manner. They were having a good journey until uh, there was an announcement made by the pilot telling that there are some issues in the engine and landing safely is doubtful. Okay, this this announcement came just a few minutes you know, before they were about to land. The moment people heard this announcement, everybody in the aeroplane started to panic. They didn't know what to do. They, they had only one thought in mind, we are going to die. We have only a few minutes left in our life. You know that point of time when if somebody tell you today, right now, in this moment, you're going to die in within just few hours or few minutes. Many thoughts will go through our minds, isn't it? Many thoughts will go through our minds. We will be scared. What will happen next? We will, we will have a lot of regret feelings and all. So thoughts and anxieties and uh, cries and screams, everything could be heard through the aeroplane. So this business executive was observing the whole, uh, you know, the, the, the aeroplane. And to his right, he saw a small girl child. She knows what is going around, but she's sitting very calmly. She's looking outside through the windows. She is enjoying her ride without there's a smile on her face. She's not even bothered. But at that point of time, the business executive thought, okay, I'm not going to talk right now and ask what the reason why she is happy right now. Because there is no time to ask others' affairs, right? So anyways, uh, after so much of fear, scream, cries and everything, prayers, safely the plane landed without any problem. Everyone was so happy. Now there is a shouts of joy in the place of Christ. And they were all happy, thankful to God that they are saved. At that time, business executive, out of his curiosity, went to that girl child and asked, See, I saw you being very calm throughout the journey, even though you knew what was happening all around. What is the reason for that? The girl looks at this, uh, the, at this man and says, Sir, I know my father is the pilot today. He is driving this plane. So I knew there is absolutely nothing to fear because he is an absolutely amazing pilot and he can land this plane safely. Business executive was surprised. What an amount of trust that little child had on her uh, father. That surprised him and he said, Child, your faith has saved us all. In fact, the story, guys, isn't it an amazing story of telling a relationship between a father and a child, which is so intense that there is a commitment of the father and there is a trust of the daughter, which is that great bond that they have. If we relate this to our spiritual life, how many of us in such kind of a situation can believe God and say, I know the situation is big, but I know my God is bigger than the situation. How many of us will be ready to say that? No, we will be all like the people, other people on the plane, crying, screaming, shouting, and sometimes even complaining God. Exactly. So, uh, this year 2020 is actually uh, aeroplane, this aeroplane story situation. We were all relaxed, we were all enjoying our lives until we heard about this coronavirus and it started spreading. You know today, how many have lost their lives, right? The education sector is going through a very different uh, change. Uh, there are, you see, there are a lot of jobs been lost. Many people lost their jobs. Businesses are going through a very tough time. Government is finding it very difficult to handle the country. The economy is crashing. A lot of negative news all around us. If you read all these headlines, it is that we know we are in the worst time, right? We are in a very difficult time. Of course we are. But it's very hard to actually believe that everything will be all right. In such time is our faith in God being tested. And it's such time that our faith in God is revealed. Let me encourage you with a verse from the Bible. 
It's in Psalms 46 verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. My dear friends, during this pandemic, could you ever think that even if you had money in your bank account, that cannot save your life? Even if you have so many friends, status and all the job, that cannot save you. If, or if, if something happens to you because of COVID or anything, it is all hope in God that can save us. We all came to know that. So God is an ever present help in trouble. Whatever may be the time, wherever you are, whatever may be the situation, that is God's promise to each and every one of you that I will be your stronghold and refuge, whatever might be the situation. So today you all have two options. First option to be like that business executive and all the other co-passengers who were worrying, scared, you know, scared of what would happen. Okay. Or you have another option to be like that small little girl child who had so much of trust with the father that nothing would happen. And along, she, she might be having this thought in mind, God is my refuge and strength. Nothing would happen. Let this word comfort you today. Among, amongst all these uncertainties and the fear that is all around, the negative news that is all around. We know that problem, it's, it's a big situation. It's true. But how many of you can say, hey, my God is the pilot and he will make me reach where I have to reach. He is the pilot and I am safe when he is riding this. How many of you can say that? I don't know what situation you are going through right now when you're watching this video. But I can tell you something that Jesus would love to tell you today that in this world there is trouble. But take courage. I have overcome the world. This is what Jesus wants to talk to you today. That's what he wants to confer to you today. And if you're ready to listen to his word, walk in his path and submit yourself, then truly, truly let me tell to you tell you that you need not to worry about what's happening because remember God is in control. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it is a blessing. God bless you. Thank you.